Antarctica. The continent that was discovered last. The continent on which it's impossible to live normally. The continent is remote, cold and mysterious. Not surprisingly, it's there that discoveries are regularly made that cannot fail to surprise. From the Loch Ness Monster's congener and a headless monster to incomprehensible creatures and substances. In this episode, I'll show you what strange creatures scientists have found in Antarctica, as well as tell you about other incredible discoveries made on the icy continent. Let's go! Loch Ness Monster For years, scientists and amateur researchers have been trying to figure out if the Loch Ness Monster really exists, or if it's all a myth and a delusion. It seems that the monster does exist, after all, but they should have been looking for it not in Scotland, but Antarctica, because that's where they found a fossil of a giant sea creature resembling the Loch Ness Monster a few years ago. In fact, the remains were found in 1989 on Seymour Island, but because of weather conditions and other factors, scientists were not able to understand the find at once, it took them years to fully excavate and analyze, and only a few years ago, paleontologists concluded that the Antarctic congener of the Loch Ness Monster is Elasmosaurus, the famous big plesiosaur with long neck from the late Cretaceous. The giant was up to 12 meters long and weighed up to 15 tons. This makes the Antarctic Elasmosaurus the largest marine monster of Antarctica. But it was not only this that amazed scientists. For a long time, paleontologists didn't know if Elasmosaurus actually existed. So the discovery was a breakthrough for the scientific world. The main feature of the Loch Ness Monster, like Elasmosaurus, is its long neck and expressive head. Neither of these is found in the next creepy creature, which was found in Antarctica about three years ago. Scientists who filmed it off the coast of the icy continent dubbed the creature a headless monster. But what is it? A real monster? A zombie? Some kind of mutant? Despite its not very pleasant appearance and frightening name, the headless monster is not really a monster. In fact, it's a sea cucumber, or a holothurian. It lives in the water column. The fin-like membranes help the sea cucumber to rise up about a kilometer in the water column and slowly descend. There's something creepy about this creature, though. The headless sea cucumber has a translucent body, so its internal organs can be seen with the naked eye. In addition, such a creature is capable of glowing. All in all, this is not the kind of creature you want to stumble upon. Jelly-like monster If things are more or less clear with the headless monster, things are more complicated with this jelly Along with the samples of sea ground raised to the surface, they retrieved this jelly-like monster. Despite the surface, it's also unknown whether there's something else like this on the Antarctic seafloor or this monster is unique and one of a kind. Strange Creatures In general, there are many mysteries in the great depths of Antarctica. For example, last year, scientists explored the filchner ron ice shelf by drilling several holes and putting a special camera to a depth of about a kilometer, they came across something they had never seen before. Strange creatures, resembling sponges, clung to the boulders at great depths. As it turned out, these creatures have never been seen, not only by scientists, but by all people in general, because the found creatures were unknown species. The creatures astonished scientists because previously they believed that only small scavengers and predators such as fish, worms, krill, and jellyfish can exist at such a depth under floating glaciers in complete darkness. The unexpected discovery was a real victory for scientists. They surmised that the newly discovered Antarctic sponges feed due to a special kind of bacterial synthesis around them, and once again convinced us that Antarctic marine life was adapted to extremely harsh conditions we could have never guessed. Sea Anemone Next, we have another creature found in the Great Depths. In 2014, scientists exploring the Antarctic Ocean with new robots studied the ocean currents but unexpectedly made another discovery. While studying currents in the Ross Ice Shelf, 
The robot stumbled upon a creature that scientists recognized as a sea anemone. The researchers were surprised that the sea anemone was upside down and buried in the ice. But far more surprising was that the sea anemone was found in a hole that was nearly 300 meters deep. How did it manage to make a hole at the bottom of the glacier and stay there while the surface of the glacier was constantly melting? Researchers don't have an answer to this question. Do you? What do you think about this and other strange creatures found in Antarctica? Share your thoughts in the comments and stay tuned because the icy continent boasts other mysteries and riddles. Alien skulls, unusual icebergs, and the most lifeless place in the world. More details are further in the episode. Strange Skulls Finding even ordinary skulls and human remains in Antarctica is already a cool discovery, let alone skulls like these. This discovery has become one of the most intriguing in Antarctica in the past few years. Scientists have analyzed and found that the skulls date back to the 18th century. This is very interesting because the continent was discovered later, to be more precise, about 100 years later. But scientists were much more interested in the shape of the skulls. Why are they elongated? Who could these remains belong to? According to one version, the skulls may be associated with the aborigines of the Peruvian Paracas Peninsula. About 100 years ago, scientists found similar elongated skulls there. In all likelihood, scientists found the Paracas native's remains in Antarctica who may have reached the continent centuries ago. But what if they didn't? What if these skulls are not the Paracas natives but of other people? Or not even people? After all, according to another version, scientists found alien remains on the icy continent. Why not? Antarctica knows how to bring surprises. A few years before the discovery of the strange skulls, the scientific world was actively discussing another find. It looks like some kind of stone or an old deflated rubber ball, doesn't it? In fact, it was considered a ball for a long time. For many years, scientists could not figure out what kind of soccer player had the misfortune to lose the ball on an icy continent. But recently the truth has emerged. As it turned out, the ball was an egg which was laid by a huge marine reptile millions of years ago. It was laid by not just any reptile, but by a Mosasaurus itself. It's one of the main prehistoric monsters which once terrified the whole world. According to scientists, Mosasaurus laid an egg about 66 million years ago. It's possible that the reptile did so just before the asteroid impact, which wiped out both Mosasaurus and dinosaurs. Unusual Icebergs Antarctica is interesting not only for the finds related to living creatures, it's also home to some of the most unusual and bizarre icebergs in the world. For example, in 2018, scientists from NASA filmed a perfectly rectangular shaped iceberg on the icy continent. From the outside, it looks like a building covered in fabric or a stand. It's not every day you see something like this. Because we're used to icebergs being uneven blocks of ice floating in the ocean, right? According to scientists, these rectangular icebergs are formed by breaking off from glaciers. The perfect shape of this rectangular iceberg suggests that it broke off shortly before the pictures were taken. After some time has passed, the rectangular iceberg will slide into the sea and look like a typical block of ice. I think you all know that Antarctica is the coldest place in the world. At the South Pole, the temperature can reach almost negative 90 degrees Celsius. But apart from this, Antarctica boasts something else. It's on this continent that the most lifeless place in the world. This conclusion was recently reached by scientists who discovered an anomaly in the dry desert near Shackleton Glacier. Scientists examined the soil of the dry desert, expecting to see the standard set of microorganisms, which are not afraid of extreme temperatures and other uncomfortable living conditions. But the analysis of samples showed something strange. There was no trace of life in the soil, no organisms, not even microbes. This is the first time that soils have been found on Earth that do not support any microbial life, although there's a possibility that there is life in the dead zone and that humanity does not yet have the proper equipment to verify this. At this point, this particular spot on Earth is considered to be the most lifeless deadliest and one of the most frightening. Let's see what happens next. That's all guys. What other mysteries do you think the icy continent might be hiding? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.